Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of Liquor with Lenore. If you're new to the channel, I'm George Lenore. I'm a visual artist here in Atlanta, Georgia. I own LenoreDesigns.com and Wet Paint ATL. And what we do here is we discuss different types of liquor. We discuss new liquor. We discuss stuff that's already been out. But I put them through a three-round taste test. So, if you like what I do, be sure to hit that like like button. Just smash it. Hit the subscribe button. All that stuff. The notification bell to stay abreast of what we do. All right. So today we're actually going to be discussing a whiskey, which is called Cast and Crew. It is a rye blend. Um, I actually tried the walnut toffee version of this, and it had a very very good flavor profile. The only thing about it, it was very sweet. Um, so I talked to a representative and they said try the rye. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go ahead and pop this open very soon. Now, first off, this rye is a blend. It's a 51% rye that's actually coming from Canada. Um, it's aged in, in, in barrels for three years and it's distilled in Canada as well. Now, there's also 49% corn. That corn is coming from Kentucky. It's also aged three years. And once that's distilled, they go ahead and blend those both together and they got this particular product. So we're about to pop this open and put it through our three round test. All right, so like I said before, we put every liquor through a three round test and now we're gonna pop this open and do a shot. First, um, it's a very nice bottle of the design and it actually comes with a couple recipes here. We're gonna be trying one of these out later on. Very nice flavor. I mean, aroma, excuse me. Beautiful golden brown color, caramel color. I think I'm getting some notes of like a caramel, maybe. Maybe a little vanilla. All right. Cheers, guys. We're about to test this out. Just typical whiskey, um, not strong, not really getting a burn. Um, I am getting a little complexity. I think that is the rye. This is my first time trying any type of rye whiskey, so you have to bear with me. I'm still learning my flavor, flavor, my different flavors, and finding out what I'm tasting on my tongue. Get some caramel. I was expecting it to be a little smokier. I'm not really getting that char or that smoke from, from the barrels that I really was looking forward to. Overall, it's a, a basic whiskey. Um, like I said before, it's an 80 proof, so it's not real strong. Uh, flavor profile is okay, um, but we're about to put it in the rocks in just a second. See how it goes from there. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we had that first shot. Um, first shot was 
I will say it was pretty smooth. It didn't have any heat or anything. Um, like I said before, it's an Ada proof, so you're not gonna get a whole lot of bite from that. So we're gonna we'll go ahead and put it on the rocks and see what we get. I love that sound. Don't you guys love that sound? <laughs> Cheers again. I think I'm getting a little more flavors. Um, I can't really tell what that is I'm tasting. Um, maybe it's the rye, but I am getting something. Um, and I can't figure out what it is. Bear with me. Yeah, I, I can't figure out what that flavor is. I think it's the rock. Um, <clears throat> but once you put it on the rocks, that flavor does get very, very pronounced. Um, and once again, I think that is that rock. Um, yeah, it's coming on the back end. It's pretty nice, it's not bad. Um, so if you're a rye whiskey drinker, I'm sure you'll love this. It's not too bad, not too shabby. Like I say, it's a, you know, it's not strong, typical, typical whiskey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once you let it sit a little bit longer, get a real nice flavor, real nice flavor profile. So, we've had two rounds thus far. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can figure out a mixed drink. Oh yeah, like I said, they had a, a thing on the card here. So we're gonna test that out and see how good it is. Stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. We're on to our third round. We had a shot, we put it on the rocks, and now we're ready for the mixed drink. And once again, we are talking about cast and crew rye whiskey. Um, now, it, like I said before, it did come with a little recipe book, and we are gonna be trying out the crew rye. I tweaked it a tiny bit. Um, what we're gonna be doing is doing one shot whiskey, two parts ginger ale. Well, I've ran out of ginger ale, so it's ginger beer. And we're gonna be doing a splash of cranberry. So here we go. Once again, that's whiskey, ginger ale, well, ginger beer, ginger beer, and a splash of cranberry. And you wanna uh, take an orange, orange peel, put that on the rim a little bit. Get some of that essence out, then stick it down in, like so. And we're just gonna do a little stirring. All right, let's see what we get. That's very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. Man, that is good. All right, so while I'm sipping on this, hmm. yeah, I could drink about four or five of them, but yeah, um, <laughs> let's review. All right, so we have the shot. The shot, um, like I said, it's an eight approved liquor, so it didn't really have a lot of bite to it. Uh, went down pretty smooth. Um, we got a lot of that rye and some caramel. Um, on the shot. Um, we didn't get any char that was supposed to be co coming from the barrels. Um, it should have had some smoky notes in it, but we did not get that. On to the second round. On the second round, we got a lot of that rye, rye flavor, um, but we lost some of those caramel notes. 
And of course, on um, the mixed drink, you're kind of going to lose all of that. All you're going to get is the alcohol. Um, so overall, uh, this has been another episode of Liquor with Lenore. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, um, and let me know how you like Castle Crew or what whiskey you're drinking right now. And if it's something in my neighborhood, I may pick it up and try it. So, like I said, it's been another episode of Liquor with Lenore. See you next time. This has been another episode of Liquor with Lenore. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay abreast of our content. And be sure to drink responsibly.